What's up everybody, welcome back to a brand new tutorial video. Today I'm going to show you guys how you can learn to use the extrude and bevel effect. And we are going to create this beautiful number 4. I'm going to show you guys how to do it. If you are new to this channel, please drop a like and subscribe the channel. Let's dive right into the process man. And we are going to create a number 4. <clears throat> and we are just going to use a typeface. Okay, I'm using Neue Haas Grotesque, the bold version. I really like this typeface. So let's use it. So we want to delete this inner triangle because we won't need it. And I'm going to extend this. Okay, we want to make a smooth curve in this diagonal line. We are going to use the curvature tool for this. We're just going to click on the path and we can drag this path a little bit inside so it gets this nice curve. Okay, it doesn't need to be too big. Um, I think something like this is quite good okay let's make a outline out of this and we are going to set the stroke to the smallest size 0.25 points okay what we want to do now is we want to create the patterns we are going to apply to the surfaces of the 3d object so we are going to select the rectangle tool or just press M on your keyboard. And we are going to drag the rectangles. So we are going to make the fill black and we drag it with Alt and Shift underneath the rectangle we have just created. And we are going to apply a white color to this rectangle. Hold Alt and Shift again and drag these two rectangles down and we are going to do this one more time i think we are going to delete this white rectangle down there okay so now we are going to create this symbol pattern on the inside of the number four so we want to make these white lines a lot thinner okay something like this okay we are going to duplicate this. Wait, we are going to duplicate these with holding Shift and Alt again. We're going to duplicate them one more time. Okay, this looks quite good. And now we want to make the height the same height as this other pattern. Okay, so now we are going to create a symbol out of these patterns. We are going to do this by going to a window Go to the symbols panel and we select this these rectangles and drag it right into the symbol panel okay this looks good just press on ok and we are going to do the same for the other pattern just drag it next to the other one and press on ok again and we are going to delete all the other ones because we won't need them in this process okay delete them as you can see we now have created the two symbols and now we are going to apply the 3d bevel effect to it select the number four go to effect 3d extrude and bevel as you can see it gives it a certain perspective and we want to make the extrude depth a little bit wider a little bit bigger so i think i will go for something like 135 and now we are going to apply these symbols <coughs> on the surfaces go to map art over here you can see we have 24 surfaces and you can press true on these buttons to see all surfaces okay so now we want to apply <coughs> the first one we don't have to apply anything on we go to the second one 
it's a back one. So we are going to apply this outer symbol to this surface. We're going to press on symbol and press on new this symbol. And as you can see, it places the symbol on the surface, but it doesn't fit. So we are going to press on scale to fit. It fits the symbol to the surface. And now we are going to the next. Don't need to do this one because we can see it from this side. Okay, this is outer surface as well, this is outer surface. Okay, we are going to apply the symbol to this surface. And now we are going to just add on all the surfaces. For these surfaces, we are going to add on the other symbols because we want to add to the inner surface this symbol. So now we have done all the surfaces, press on OK, press on OK again. And as you can see, we have created this number four in 3D effect and added the symbols to the surfaces. Okay guys, if you like this technique, please drop your Instagram profiles in the description so I can check what you have created with this beautiful technique. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel so you won't miss the next tutorial video. And the next tutorial video will be this number five, which I have been creating on my Instagram as well. And a lot of people are waiting to see this video. Be sure to check it out and I see you guys in the next video. Later!